okay so in this uh, demo we will be using the ubuntu server the latest version as of now that is uh, 22.04 and it is the long term uh, stable version so after downloading the version for this demo environment we will be using the uh, vmware workstation for the demo purpose and here as usual we will be creating a vm with ubuntu and uh, we will be assigning a 10 gig of hard disk space and we will power on and proceed with the installation that's it so here it is it uh, in breached mode so that I can just log into it using the SSH using my local network here. So basically after the server boots up we need to do a few configurations and then we'll be up and running in no time. Okay, so after the language is uh, selected, we'll go with continue with the new installer. Then the installer will be downloaded and we'll then proceed to the next step. So here we'll be going with Ubuntu server, then we'll click on done then here we need to assign the IP addresses by default the THCP is enabled on Ubuntu server and for the demo purpose I will be using the static IP address and remember for IP uh, and IPv4 and v6 you need to specify the addresses for the split test server to be reviewed successfully if your server don't have a IP ad IPv6 address then your server might not be accepted for the global test platform so here we have selected the method as manual and then we'll be putting up the address gateway and the subnet. Just for your information the subnet should be in the form of the network with a slash 24 or your CIDR number. And in the case of DNS we can use uh, 2 DNS, 3 DNS that depends on your configuration scenario. For this demo purpose I'll be using a single DNS and then will apply the changes and from here only we can set up the IPv6 addresses which you need to do but for this uh, demo environment I am not giving the IPv6 address but the procedure is similar to IPv4 so here you can give a slash 20 uh, slash 127 address which uh, can later be configured in your server also Then uh, we'll be using the entire disk and using the automatic partition done by the uh, Ubuntu server itself. So then we can uh, type in our name and username. Then we can give the recommended password. So basically the server's name will not be a part of the domain name. So it will just be a server name domain we can add later. Then we'll be clicking on install open SSH server and then click on done. We'll do, we do not need to select any of these items. It will take some time for the installation to get completed. And just wait for the installation to be completed. Okay, after the installation is finished, we'll give a server a reboot. And then we'll be logging in into the SSH of the server. So the IP is set and we have logged into the SSH. Then after logging into the sudo user, the root user will be performing the installation of the Ookla speed test server first after processing and checking if there is any update available for the Ubuntu server right now. So here we'll be installing uh, the Oclas speed test server right now. So we'll be downloading the script from the Oclas uh, website and then we'll be pressing with the install command. It may take some time, uh, some DNS uh, error has occurred. Okay, let me just add one uh, DNS, just a moment. Okay, 
next again we will be proceeding with the installation uh, script yes it has now picked up the installation the installation is completed now we will edit the Ucla server and we will be changing few properties uh, <coughs> beginning with the IPv6 NML to true we will just remove the comment mark for the followings and we will be using the allowed domains so Ucla and speaktest.net Next, we'll be using the uh, auto update that will be true, and last, we'll be using the SSL enabled to true. Let's encrypt SSL to be true. So, these are the four changes you need to do in the configuration file, and then we'll be uh, saving it and closing it up. Next, we'll be configuring the Ucla server to run automatically when the server restarts whether it is a power failure or for uh, some maintenance activity so we'll be creating the rc local service first because in the newer versions of ubuntu rc local is not present and then we'll, we'll be adding these uh, two files which are required for uh, the rc.local file and we'll be giving the necessary permissions after it is done we'll be enabling the service to run at startup and also we will be editing the rc local file and we will be pasting the okla server script so here it, uh, it is my name is there since I, the username and uh, the file location is based on my name so you have to change it according to your requirement so let us just test if the server is running okay the server is running now let us check the auto uh, run feature so we will be rebooting the server and we will be again checking if the service has started automatically or not so the server is rebooting okay the reboot is finished so let us again open the web browser and check if the service is running or not so we'll copy the, the link and then we'll be again running okay the service is up and running so the auto start feature is also working okay so after we have configured the server you need to check using the Ucla server tester whether all your configurations are correct or not. So log, go to this website that is uh, speakers.net slash host tester and then put in your server's IP address uh, or your host name uh, use, uh, and then followed by, uh, the, uh, followed by the port number that is 8080. Then click on submit and the speak test server tester will perform some tests on your server and will give you the report in a few seconds so here you can see all the test results are passed so this is the test result and see in this page you can see all the reports or all the tests which it has performed and for all the tests the report is a success so basically the speed test server configuration is completed and then you can submit the server for public use if you are setting up the speed test server for the first time then you may get some error in the https section because the https gets activated after it is after the server is accepted by okla not before that what we need to do is uh, we need to put our server in the Ucla account and we'll be going to go to servers then we have to click on create new and add new servers that is the add server option on the top right of the screen then here we need to put up the domain name the domain name should be already mapped with your IPv4 and v6 address so for that you need to enter in your DNS panel and add the A record and the 4A records then we'll be selecting the processor the memory and the available bandwidth just remember the available bandwidth should be around 1 gig for your server to get accepted this is a basic uh, policy by speed test in the organization name you can type in your company name on the organization website give your company's website your city state and country remember the ip address on which your server is running should the geolocation should match with the server's details and then click on create and it will be submitted for review after a few days you will get a mail from the okla team confirming your server is up for public use thank you